Sagittarius, welcome. Fellow Sagittarius, I should say. Sun, Jupiter, Mercury, and Mars, myself. This is your singles reading. I'm doing something a little different than I have been doing, which was meet the soulmates, and I call this Tarot Story Time. We're really t trying to tell your story in love, and I feel like a lot of times I can capture a process or a piece of like your life that ends with you finding someone. So this last two cards, it, here will be the future. And this is this process of how you're getting to here. If that makes sense. Um, and I'm hoping these reads can be helpful and uh, go a little deeper and give us some more insight into whatever it is we're looking for from a tarot reading. But this is a singles read. It's a predictive read. Uh, it's focused upon the one that is right for you. Um, but it's going to tell the story of your love life. And go ahead, make the joke. That shouldn't take long. <laughs> we'll get that passed. You got the devil here and using the clipped art deck. So it's a little interesting devil card. Um, you really get the sense. I mean, this is a love reading. So it, whenever I see this, I don't so much think addictions as um, with drugs or anything like that as, you know, obsessions with love, that plutonic eighth house stuff. Um, where you're uh, jealous and controlling and intense and um, that kind of stuff. And so I try to pick up uh, where you're at uh, here. And it, where I pick up, you're already an adult uh, here. Uh, maybe maybe around the Saturn return time, you know, late 20s, uh, you're mature, a, a young person. Um, and you're getting it together that's where this devil comes in, you know, um, but it might be more like you're the ten of swords, you're done, the nine of swords, you got one uh, wand left in you, that's, that's your action, so, but you're down with nine, it's like, wow, I've tried everything, nothing's working here, and you, but you've got, you're saving that last one so that you can maybe get up one more time, nothing else, but mentally, you're done. In your mind, you're done. You're like, I can't do this anymore. Can't think about this anymore. Can't focus on this anymore. And I get the feeling it would have been something that built up over time and that you kept like going back to, going back to, going back to the same person, the same couple people, um, people who weren't interested for whatever reason. And, you know, finally you had enough of that, like 10, ending of a cycle. And you get yourself out of it here with the magician. And I keep in mind, Sag, and I have a Cancer Moon, uh, Venus and Scorpio, I have water. So it could point to some water in your chart, but you get yourself out of this with the magician here. And this is kind of how I'm reading this in the position of your mind here, the magician. So you're a Sagittarius that probably is manifesting, you know. I see the magician and that's in that position you're manifesting and there's something involved with cancer definitely water energy more cancer Pisces I see um, with the king of cups but that could be Scorpio but speaking to the water and your chart I believe um, How you got yourself out of this um, it puts you in this energy. Did you look at this King of Cups, though, how he's kind of got the look. So it's kind of the pouty. I'm a Cancer Moon. It could be like that. But there's an element of the King of Cups. The Queen of Cups, I don't really get that with. Uh, that can be kind of a, emotionally manipulative, emotionally blackmailing or manipulative or uh, drama, dramatic, you know, somehow. Um, and I think it puts you into that energy, guys. You know, I kind of get the process. is like, this energy over here was just, it, it's terrible. It's like, you got to get out of that, you know. You leap, uh, that's leaping out of a burning building to your death kind of energy, ten of swords. You've got to go. Got to go. Uh, but you did you worked your magic you used everything you had you probably 
manifested here really focus your energy but you're left emotionally you know kind of a little bitter about it look at them king uh, a little bitter a little hollow you know uh, and I think this is a, a speaking to these periods here and then from that energy you go on into this five of wands energy so you're probably attracting other fire signs or dominant fire signs, sun, moon, rising, or Venus dominant individuals. And it's, um, I think it's like you're trying to get yourself out of this deep water energy here. Hold on. Um, and I mean, I gotta say, I feel like it's kind of a little bit the lower vibrational king of cups part of it. Um, and it's kind of like being stuck, you know, stuck emotionally. And it's like these five of wands people, could have been five of them, guys, some period of time in your life, like five, where, you know, uh, maybe all of them coming in kind of fast, boom, 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 boom. And um, all of them feeling like the two of cups. This is like uh, five relationships. I, I swear, sad, leave a comment. Um, you, you know, you're sad, you might be counting right now. forget my very first got tarot cards real quick my very first deck I, I opened it up I got the eight of cups I already knew what it meant I was like I wonder if it's and I had to count back eight relationships I literally had to use my fingers to keep I'm not proud of that but you know it's partly my mind I have no air that's also my excuse right but guys um you're going through this, what, what a lot of people probably think of uh, Sag as being, you know, horse, <laughs> right? Uh, and maybe you I don't think you are normally, but you went through a period here where you kind of move quick, you're attracted to sex and uh, chemistry and really equating it with love. And, you know, the Two of Cups is next to this kind of furtive looking King of Cups here. It's like the King of Cups is like, you know, yeah, I'm the King of Cups, but I'm alone. I really want my queen. And so he's kind of looking over at these two of cups here. Very tense, clamped art deck. Um, now, I think is when you get to your person. And I'm, that's what I need to clarify here with your Ten of Cups, clearly. And the Five of Swords here really i gotta also work with the interpretation of this being a different deck you know it's erotic art deck and it, it's so nuanced um even the ten of, of uh, cups you know uh, it looks like kind of a big family um everyone is very happy and with the five of swords you know i really kind of get in it too like venus energy off of that too So, Five of Swords uh, can be negative emotions, uh, uh, negative thoughts, I mean. Um, thinking of it here is with this coming from, really from the Ten of Swords. And then you get a grip on it and you kind of understand emotions, you master emotions, you're the King of Cups, you know. But, you know, you're still unfulfilled, you're wanting this love, this feeling, it's really a feeling cancer uh, moon it doesn't matter if it's not a feeling you know and you were kind of going through these series I think you kind of realized what's going on there and you're wanting some, something deeper you're focused on the fact you want your two of cups and I just think finally you know you get it it's like they say even a blind squirrel gets in that once in a while Sagittarius and that's why we're so fucking lucky oh Sagittarius are so lucky no, we're not lucky. We just get up and we keep, we do it again, and then we do it again, and we do it again, and then we do, and we keep doing that until we die. And so, and we probably fail nine times out of ten. But is it really luck if on the tenth time something sticks? Because I think that's what happened. What you're pulling in is a water sign here. And I think I, you know, very well could go with a Pisces with the Ten of Cups here. 
and what I want to clarify is what's going on with you. You're, it's like, I feel like your Ten of Cups is here. It's in the up position. You know it. It's uh, in your mind. If I say this, and you're still watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I definitely feel my Ten of Cups is here. Ten of Cups person, water sign, strongly Pisces, probably. But what's going on with the Five of Swords here? Because Five of Swords is, uh, is uh, it's arguing, it's mentally um, being in real conflict, you know, direct conflicts. Like, I'm against abortion, I'm for abortion, and, you know, where are you going to we'll go from there? Let's see what we get. The Eight of Swords, wow. Um, I'm going to have to clarify this again. Eight of Swords, I'm clarifying this how to reconcile this future here where you have your ten of cups person but yet you're not still not feeling it you're feeling like it's some kind of struggle or difficulty and i think this is inner here and this is also saying it the eight of swords classic inner heads inner heads it's like there's something going on underneath unconscious has nothing to do with your lover because you got the ten of cups which you said you've been wanting sad you know, so whatever is going on, it's in your mind. And now, this is telling me it's deep in your mind. Think eighth house, shadow stuff. Help me, spirit. <laughs> Ten of wands. I remember we had the five of wands. It was you just screwing around. I got to tell you, here's how I'm reading this, Sag. You've got this person here, and hopefully, maybe with this very reading... You got the five of swords and the eight of swords. You you know something's wrong, and you know it's not them. And this is maybe different because normally it is them, and it's not them. So what does this do? It means uh oh, I really gotta look at me now, because there's nowhere else to point the finger at this point, because this is internal stuff. This here doesn't have nothing to do with nobody else. And I said before you were done at one point. That's kind of how you got here to your ten of cups. You really showed the universe you're done and you, you were rewarded but now you're still haunted by these thoughts that are negative you know nights not gonna work and this can't possibly be real and whatever it is and I think you're gonna be done with that because that's what the ten of wands is gonna be done I think it's gonna take a minute more I think I do but I'm kind of laughing because I it could read be reading for me I get it uh, but uh, I think it's going to take a minute more. It's like you're going to have to bang. If you could look back to when it was you got to this point where you said enough, I really want the real deal. I'm not playing anymore. And uh, how that went, uh, you might have some idea how it's going to go now in terms of time. Because um, are you at that point now where you're now, you really get it. You're not playing. You're not going to like, in other words, this one with the five was you saying, I'm not going to let anybody else come in here and, jerk me around now with the ten of wands that's you saying okay i'm not gonna let me come in here and jerk me around either so now you're basically saying enough <clears throat> and you've got your ten of cups and now you're like you know what no one is jerking me around including me <laughs> right I, I should put that as the title no one's jerking me around anymore even myself <laughs> all right thank you guys uh give me a thumbs up like share all of that tell friend tell friend do subscribe if you haven't thank you guys